in this short video we will discuss about dopamine and dobutamine usually in practice we use these drugs collectively to basically increase or enhance the cardiac contractility but we need to understand the mechanism that both these drugs act by the first thing that you need to know is that dopamine acts on d1 and d2 dopamine receptors it also acts on beta receptors and alpha receptors whereas dobutamine acts only on beta and the alpha receptors now how i remember it is that dopamine is a huge drug so it acts on more receptors and it has more functions as compared to dobutamine because it has but in it so there is if and but about this drug so it acts on less receptors and it has lesser functions as compared to dopamine now first let me tell you about the functions of beta receptors both beta 1 and beta 2 receptors are g s coupled and they activate adenylyl cyclase thus leading to increased atp production that leads to increased protein kinase a activity that ultimately leads to two things the first thing that is how the beta 1 receptors act by it enhances or increases calcium uptake into the cardiac cells thus enhancing cardiac contractility you have one heart so beta 1 will be in the heart other thing that is how beta 2 reacts or beta 2 acts is it causes bronchodilation and vaso dilation you have two lungs so beta 2 will be in the lungs that is how you need to remember it so since dopa and dobuta both act on beta receptors therefore both these drugs can cause increased cardiac contractility both these drugs can cause bronco dilation and vasodilation now vasodilation will ultimately lead to decreased blood pressure obviously or hypotension clear 
now when we are considering only dopamine i told you that it acts on d1 and d2 too so d1 activation relaxes renal vascular smooth muscles thus it increases kidney perfusion so now what you need to understand dopamine is a drug that has more functions dobutamine is a drug that is a drug of ifs and buts so it has lesser functions as compared to dopamine since dopamine acts primarily on d1 and d2 receptors and then on b1 receptors beta 1 receptors so dopamine will increase the blood pressure the dopamine will increase the renal perfusion on the other hand the butamine will decrease the blood pressure due to beta 2 vasodilation the mechanism i wrote right here and it will not change the renal perfusion clear both these drugs can enhance cardiac contractility but if you want to give a drug that increases blood pressure and renal perfusion you will go with dopamine but if you only want to enhance cardiac contractility and don't want the blood pressure to increase you will give dobutamine so now let's understand or take two scenarios if a patient is with congestive heart failure and the patient has low bp what will you give congestive heart failure and low bp you need to increase the blood pressure you will give dopamine if a patient is with chf and there is no hypotension then what you should give you will give dobutamine and other thing that can help you memorize this is that we always say about these cardiac contractility enhancing drugs like dopa and dobuta so dopa is always first dopa has more functions it will increase the blood pressure it will increase the renal vascular smooth muscles relaxation thus increasing kidney perfusion so dopa has more functions dobuta has less functions dopa acts on d1 d2 receptors more d1 d2 receptors more than on beta than on alpha whereas dobuta acts on b1 receptors more as compared to b2 and then alpha so this is how you need to remember these